All right, so here's a quick little video of this uh, fogging skull pile. I picked this up uh, two years ago uh, after Halloween from Spirit. And um, it's a pretty cool little thing, right? It, uh, I guess it's supposed to activate the fog machine when the sensor, there's a tiny little, right down here, a little sensor. It's also a uh, sound activated sensor to it. It's supposed to set it off, it lights up, uh, some sound effects, and uh, you know, and the little fog comes out through all the uh, little eye holes here. That's pretty cool, right? Well, I bought it after Halloween two years ago, hooked it up last year, and uh, you find out, um, yeah, that sensor does not work in the dark. <laughs> so the only way this thing went off last year was if someone made enough noise to set it off. There was just nothing happening. So, figured I've been working on uh, the Arduino uh, Octobanger boards, and I have a few of these extra PIR sensors, which do work in the dark. And I thought, well, what if I could hook one of those up? So, I took the back off of this thing, which had this. This is the back of it. And this is what's inside. So we got here. Got it. That's the uh, sensor cable that I disconnected. And then what I hooked up, these two wires over here connect to this servo cable, which comes out the back. Servo cable goes over. PIR. There we go. Okay. But there's three wires. These uh, PR sensors also need a ground hooked up. So after some trial and error, some uh, close examination on here, I found, see this is the LED in here that flashes, lights up the whole thing. And this black wire here comes right over to here where I connected this green cable, soldered it on there. Get a zoom on that. Probably not. You can see ground. So the LED has a ground on it. So I figured, eh, I'll ground my PR, hook it up to that, and see if it works. And it seems to be working. So what I did, I just uh, did a quick solder on that. Uh, this whole thing, you pull these things off here. This whole back was just uh, hot glued in here. And these whole things, they're soldered on all their the cables from spirit are soldered on but there's hot glue all over everything on here everything's hot glued all over the place so I just uh, this piece coming off um, hot glued my uh, jumper cables on that go to the PIR and I pulled the pin off of this cable Boom. soldered that one and then hot glued it down and that seems to have done the trick. So I'll just uh, clean this up. I'll, I'll probably hot glue these wires back out of the way so they're not interfering with the LED. And uh, yeah. So that'll be that. And we'll have a uh, prop that actually works in the dark. And the plan is to, uh, I think I'm gonna try and do a, uh, Do like a uh, glowing embers uh, prop with the uh, the orange Halloween Christmas light thing, you know, and uh, do the great, great stuff around here. Put this on its side a little bit and do some uh, great stuff with the glowing embers all around it and maybe some extra skull pieces around and make it a little bit more, a little bit more substantial. But yeah, just a quick little thing. You can... Uh, I've seen lots of videos with the hack uh, connect uh, new uh, sensors to the try me switch on your on your prop, but hey, you can do it without the try me sensor. There's no try me sensor on this. You just need to uh, get your PIR and hook it up because the Spirit props apparently have uh, the two cables. And then with the ground, just find the ground. There will be a ground there somewhere. Otherwise, I, you could probably ground it somewhere else. But I went ahead and did it straight to where the ground is listed. And uh, I'll just hot glue that back in there and uh, for about another buck, made it a much more effective prop. 
we'll see how it does if I can get that uh, the glowing embers all hooked up and see how that looks in a little bit. But for now, that's all. Just a short little quick video. Thanks.